Hello, hello, hello. We have some summer here today. Hope everyone's having a great day. Let's get started. I had this spinning wheel of doom on. Oh, good. There's Chris. Hey, Debbie. Yay. So excited. Who saw my post the other day about my hair growth spray? What else we got? I was busy the other day. It was refill time. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Colleen. Hey, Holly. Hey, Mandy. I'm going to go find it. Ooh, who saw my posts about um, doTERRA diaper rash cream for lady parts or any parts down there? So good. Not just for babies, folks. So many uses for that. So the doTERRA diaper rash cream is available. It's only available right now through your loyalty rewards program cart. Even if you didn't have it loaded in there already, you can still add it and check out. Hey, Cindy. Cindy says, I've seen all your great posts. Yay. I got some good ones today. Some are repeats, but still. Um, I want to encourage you all to RTC, read the comments, because on a post like this, right, the doTERRA diaper rash cream for lady parts, tons of awesome testimonials in all the ways that people like to use that product. 74 comments with tips on how to use it, not just for that. So be sure to read the comments. Um, on my refill day, I posted this picture and told you that I was um, refilling my sprayer for hair grow. I did it a little different this time. I'll tell you why. I'm going to show you how I use it. Um, I had three dropper bottles to refill, um, two new dropper bottles to make. What did they make? Oh, they're in the other room. That's okay. I'll tell you. And um, then, of course, the surprise um, for people guessing, I got uh, a little giveaway. Of course, I forgot to bring that in too. Boy, I am just deruggling today. I'm gonna go get um, the giveaway because you can't get excited about giving something away if you don't know what it is. Hey, Terry. So be sure to comment, comment, comment because that's how you get entered for my free stuff. Hold on just a sec. Me being all fancy. I have nice clothes on two videos in a row. <laughs> We're getting fancy up in here. All right. So, for commenting, Kelly Bird gets this cute little Lucite tray. How cute is that? So, I get these from 405 Laser Works. This, I just have a whole row of citrus bloom. Because when I have a get-together with friends, like I have this Saturday, if you're on my team, don't forget, we have Yay Oils. Um, if you're on my team, um, or if you are new to doTERRA and um, are looking to get started in the Eureka, Illinois area, you can join us Saturday from 10 to 12 for our monthly workshop where we all get together and talk about what products we're using and how we love them and all that. And um, some of the folks are going to get citrus bloom. And Kelly Bird commented on the post. So she's going to get this cute little lucite tray to keep her oils wherever she wants. All right, so that's today's giveaway. Is it the last Thursday of the month? I think it is. And then we also have the coach bag giveaway. And that is Jill H. Jill H. 
So I know I can say Kelly Bird's name because I actually um, knew Kelly Bird when we drew her name the other day. But uh, Jill H., if I don't know you and you're not on my team, I won't say your whole name and tag you. I'll just contact you privately. But Jill H. is the coach bag winner um, of the month for August. And Vicki M. was the coach bag winner for July. Okay, let's get started. Uh, I had a little trouble. Someone said it was a little hard to pull me up on their computer today. I had a lot of trouble getting logged on today. That's why I was a couple minutes late. I was actually on time, but I was a couple minutes late because it literally took like four minutes for the video to load in live. So if you're having trouble, just um, come back and watch the replay. All right, so love those Lucite trays. 405 Laser Works. Brian that makes those is incredible. Okay. I want to talk about, let's just start with the hair, all right? Let's just get that done. Okay, so I'm in Florida. I have a condo here. I'm going to move here in um, next summer full time when my son graduates, and hopefully he will get accepted to the school of his choice down here, which happens to be 15 minutes down the road. So excited. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm limited on things that I have here. So I have one sprayer that I like here, my after sun spray that I used the other day. And uh, just a reminder, my after sun spray is frankincense, lavender, peppermint, tea tree, and copaiba topped with water and a four ounce sprayer. I like a lot of oil. So I do like 30 to 40 drops probably. Um, or maybe 20 drops each and like 40 peppermint. Um, but I am loving the beautiful body mist and I have lots of those for after sun. I used that the other day. Boom, no problems. Um, as you can see last week I got fried and I didn't even peel. Didn't peel, didn't plus blister, nothing. One application of beautiful body mist um, and good to go. And then sometimes I'll get a little itchy on my chest and I apply the doTERRA diaper rash cream. So I got my after sun spray down. Oh, I need to add more water. I got my after sun spray down to almost gone. It was down to about here and I only had one sprayer. And it was time to up level my hair grow sprayer because I kept using the one ounce doTERRA plastic sprayer. And it was only lasting me like a week because I'm going to town on this hair guys we're gonna get this hair to grow back and it already is it's incredible um, so it was time to use this one and I love this trigger sprayer I don't have a link for you I cannot find these magical ones anymore if someone can find these yes it's yellowed and gross from oils over the years but this is the best sprayer I've ever had so I'm gonna give you four ounce sprayer recipe because what happens is my one ounce would run out and I would get lazy and not refill it and then kept falling off the wagon. You can see a little bit um, new hair growth. It's not the best lighting, but what I'm working on, I have a number of things going on, so I'm going to tell you what I'm working on. So one, my hair's been dry. Ooh, it's kind of shiny today. My hair has been dry because of just medication issues um, from post cataract surgery. My system's really messed up. Um, my surgery was in October, November, but over the last 10 months at different points, I've had to take um, drugs for seizures, for eye pain, for all kinds of stuff. And um, Little by little, um, was able to overcome that and figure out what my body needed for natural choices, right? But nonetheless, it's messed up my hair. So whether you are dealing with hair loss from a medical trauma or stress or um, perimenopause, oh, that's a good one. Check that out, right? So we're gonna we're gonna get this hair back, folks. I've also got a pretty good bald spot back in the back of my head and um, we're gonna get this hair back volume wise I know you guys are always like oh my gosh you have so much hair it's so thick this is probably a third the amount of hair volume wise that I had before this ever happened so if you've seen some past pictures 
I could not get a hair tie um, around my hair uh, more than twice. And now, look at my hair, uh, what, diameter, circumference, right, circumference is about the size of a nickel where before it was bigger than a half dollar and I could barely get a hair tie around it twice, right? So we're going for, to get my thickness back, we're going to address where it's missing, we're going to address the dryness, all of it, okay? So here's my sprayer. I have leftover after some spray in here, so frankincense, lavender, peppermint, copaiba, tea tree, then I added the oils for the mermaid spray. All right, mermaid spray is not my um, recipe that was posted by a friend of mine that said I could share. And the oils that they like to use in there are cedar wood, clary sage, peppermint, geranium, and rosemary. Now, I like the results I've been getting this week from the frankincense, lavender, tea tree, and copaiba being added to mine. So I'm going to keep doing that, all right? So I have in my four ounce sprayer, I have 20 drops cedarwood, clary sage, probably 40 to 50 drops peppermint. 20 geranium, 20 rosemary, probably 20 um, tea tree, copaiba, frankincense, and lavender left in there. Top it off. I didn't, I either didn't top it off very well or I have used half a bottle already in a week. I think I've used half a bottle already in a week. I'm doing it like two or three times a day. I'm going to show you exactly what I do, okay? People keep calling. Don't call people. We're on live. All right, so I top it off with water. I don't want coconut oil in my hair because I don't want it to be greasy. All right, so this hair right here is, I showered after I got back from the pool yesterday, just let it air dry, and then my hair gets really fuzzy and dry if I don't do anything to it. Well, I didn't do anything to it because I knew today was gonna be hair growth spray day. So last night, I did the hair growth spray everywhere, and then I woke up and the dryness is gone. So I believe um, geranium is the one that helps with that, all right? So geranium for dryness. And the reason I'm talking about some of this is you guys have asked in the questions, is this good for dry hair? Is this good? Um, saying congratulations, Holly and Jill. Tell me what Holly and Jill did, guys. I missed it. What did Holly and Jill do? Oh, they won stuff. <laughs> no, not Holly. Jill and Vicki and Kelly. Sorry, I got ADD here. Ooh, I'm gonna try, Tamara posted a link um, for Black Trigger Spray, I'm gonna try that. So, all right, back on track. Sorry, I need Adaptive and Amavi because I'm a squirrel if I don't use it. So, Adaptive and Amavi on the wrist, roll them, inhale, and I will stop looking at the comments until we're done. Adaptive, inhale. I gotta get this done on time today because I got a lunch date. All right, so I sprayed it on dry hair. So what do I do? Um, to deal with the dryness last night, I just, everything's backwards, I just sprayed it like this, right? So that was for the dryness. I don't need to do a lot today because it's not dry, right? But this is good not just for my scalp, it's good for my hair as well, okay? So that's no big deal, No, not drops going everywhere, right? So that helped me wake up um, with glossy hair instead of fuzzy hair, right? I'm in Florida, so to get silky glossy hair here, thanks to the oils, is awesome because you're going to see that humidity dryness pop out. Okay, so then... Scalp. So I've learned a lot of ways to do, not to do. So head back, and I literally put the sprayer on my scalp. All right. So I want to focus on right up front. I'll do a little bit, 
you start to feel dripping, take your uh, whatever the kind of comb this is. That's so how much I use combs. I got this out of the haircut and kit. And I want to literally scrape my scalp and comb it through. You want to get that scalp stimulation. And you also want to help spread that through your scalp so it's not just in your hair. Otherwise, because it's not thick, it's going to drip all over. It's going to drip into your face as well, right? So you want that scalp stimulation. Google um, hair grow scalp stimulation, all right? They make these little tools. They're like these little head scratchers. We bought them. We fall victim to all the fun Amazon tools. They're kind of silly. They, we ended up donating them. But there were testimonials in there how the scalp stimulation has helped people grow some of their hair. So fine tooth comb, that's what this is. If you don't have one, use a brush, right? And brush, 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 right? Now, I want to make sure I had a lot of hair loss in the front here. So I'm going to part and make sure I get these spots. Tilt back so it doesn't go in your eyes. Always shake, shake and spray. Right on the scalp, all the way back. Sticking it right in my scalp. Oh, got a drip there, right? So I need to comb. Comb as soon as it starts dripping. And get all the way through the hair. Right? If I don't comb, I got drips everywhere. You can also then, once you spray, turn your hair upside down. So if any starts to drip, it's going to drip along the hairline. I'm going to look all slicked back for my lunch today. But I am being diligent. And I went all the way back to where that bald spot is, right? I am being diligent with this now, and even in just a week, I have little, I'll have to try to figure out how to do some close-ups, little hairs coming through all along here, which is most important for me, because you can even see my hairline at like some of the widest points through a light here. My, I can feel it. My hairline was here, and now it's back here. Boy, I can feel all kinds of little hairs just from last week and being diligent, all right? Some are coming in naturally. I started to see little hairs popping up everywhere again, and that's when I realized I needed to help it along, all right? So easy peasy. Then I sleep on that, or um, today, I'm just going to go out and about. It's going to dry. It's not going to be greasy. Oh, I just answered that for Mandy. It's not going to be greasy because I didn't put any coconut oil in there. So as it dries, see how I put all through there? It's going to dry fairly quickly from the oils. The oils are very volatile, they're very dry, and they're not greasy oils. None of those oils have coconut oil in them. They're all just straight oils, all right? So get this going, folks. Get this going. I'm going to be super diligent, and I am not going to fall off the wagon in a week like I have every other time I've tried this because I use too small of a spray bottle. So you've got to use a 4-ounce. Guys, my hair is so soft and silky from this combination. So that's why, even though I posted the mermaid spray recipe, I'm going to um, repost the Zimmer hair, um, healthy hair recipe, okay? Because that frankincense, um, lavender, tea tree, copaiba, in addition to those other oils, first of all, I love the way it smells. And second of all, I'm in love with how soft it is making my hair, right? So I got to go out to lunch here after this. So let's see if we can get by. And that'll dry in no time, right? Even though my hair is wet and it won't dry greasy because I top with water, right? So glad I got to do that for you. I never do too much like inaction DIY. I usually just tell you about it. But we're going to see... I, I make no promises. Here's the downside. Are you ready for the good, the bad, the ugly? I always share the good, the bad, the ugly. I cannot promise the color of the new hair growing in. All these new little hairs coming in are gray. <laughs> so I can only solve one problem at a time. 
And the problem we're going to solve first is getting this hair to grow back in. All right. Okay. Um, love it, love it, love it. I love this. Uh, Terry says, doTERRA oils are adaptogens. They will not make your hair greasy and weigh it down. Just don't do the uh, fractionated coconut oil. Massage it into the scalp and concentrate. Um, I don't know what the mid-afternoon and ends means. But... So I concentrate on the scalp, and then because of that geranium in there making it soft and silky, I don't mind it getting all over my hair. It's not going to dry it out. Okay, so that's the hair growth spray. I'll repost that. If I don't have time when the video is over, because I do have a lunch date, then um, I will repost it later. But for me, I'm upping it, and the mermaid spray I posted my friends used 10 drops each cedarwood, clary sage, peppermint, geranium, and rosemary in a four ounce sprayer topped with water. I double that, so I do the 20. And um, then I also added frankincense, lavender, tea tree, and copaiba. All right. Kathy said it's not gray, it's white lightning. Oh, it's white, all right. So apparently, redheads go from red to white. Cynthia says, what is good for frizzy hair? What I just went through, Cindy, Cynthia, um, is very good for frizzy hair. I spray it all over my hair as well, and it's helping with the frizz. And then also doTERRA's um, root to tip serum. All right, root to tip serum. Okay, let's see. Hair grow, what's next? Oh, I also have a free citrus bloom for Kelly Bird that goes with that tray. Oh, let's recap Rome Diffuser and make sure everybody's up to speed on Rome Diffuser. All right, so the Rome Diffuser is this beauty here. This gorgeous diffuser sat in my closet for almost a year. It came out last year. I used it once. I hated it. And I put it back in the closet and it did not come back out until two months ago, six weeks ago. <sighs> Here's why. There is a like a rubber band seal between the lid and the bottom that would make it seal tight. And I could not get the lid back off without spilling stuff everywhere. The seal is not required take it off people say oh but then when you go to pick it up you might um lift it by the lid and fall over well don't lift it by the lid we don't lift other diffusers by the lid don't lift this one by the lid all right oh water drips down every diffuser collects water in the lid that's how they are made so you lift it up you immediately tilt over the diffuser so the water that collects in the lid goes back into the diffuser. So, see it just drip, right? And then you don't set it on wood or anything that can be damaged. You have a towel out, you go to your kitchen counter, and you set the lid down. Because guess what? It roams, right? So now, this is literally the only diffuser I'm using throughout the condo, except for um, the big Barbie doll bathtub diffuser next to my bed. I use big um, diffusers next to my bed so that I only have to refill them like one every three or four nights. Right, so now I'm going to set this down. So now, instead of that seal right here making it so it was too hard for me to get on and off and didn't want to do it, I'm using it every single day. It charges on the charger at night. And I run it while it's on the charger with On Guard and Breathe. And then every morning it's empty, I am charged. I pick it up, I refill it, and I move it to my island. No cord. I cannot handle a cord on my island, but the diffuser belongs on my island. So why is that? One, when I go to refill it, I don't have to worry about water or oils damaging um, the surface of um, like my wooden table. I would never put a diffuser on my wooden table, right? 
You have to use some common sense. It's not the diffuser's fault if you put something with water and oil on it. Um, you're going to drip stuff, all right? So if you damage your wooden table or your painted furniture because essential oils and water aren't good for that stuff, um, that's your own fault. Not the oil's fault, not the diffuser's fault. Use common sense. Use your diffusers on hard surfaces that can't be damaged by water, etc. Or put them on something. Put them on a cute little mouse pad. Put them on something that you aren't worried about, right? So use some common sense. That Rome diffuser now goes everywhere and will be a staple in our home. And I actually had another one and I gave it away because I hated it that much. All right, but seriously, as soon as I remove the seal, it's my favorite one. All right, so remove that seal. You can keep it. So if you ever um, sell your used diffuser, I sell my used diffusers sometimes for a great price to customers who need um, that. Dan has a great suggestion. Use a cute placemat um, under your diffusers, right? Okay, now the white powder during the, well, any time of year, but especially during the winter in Illinois, that goes on stuff is mineral deposits from your water. That's not the diffuser's fault. You're going to have that with any kind of humidifier, uh, vaporizer, etc. And you just wipe it off with a cloth, like a Norwex cloth. That's no big deal. But if you drop oils or water on wood or painted furniture, uh, you are going to create a problem for yourself. You'll um, damage your furniture. So just use common sense. I like um, uh, Christy's suggestions too. She has all her diffusers on cute glass plates. Genius. All right. So my hair is already drying. Let me take that down so you can see how quickly, even in the ponytail, um, that this is drying and not greasy. See how nice that looks and shiny? Wow, that looks really good. All right. Maybe I'll leave it down and see if it'll dry cute enough to wear like this for lunch. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Yeah, check it out. See? And that was thoroughly saturated. Right? I think I'll still keep it up. I'll still keep it up so people can see the cute little uh, bra I got on in the back. Got me a Victoria's Secrets fan fancy bra on today. We're getting fancy around here in Florida. Wearing cute shirts and tank tops. and I can dress a little different in Florida than I can in good old Eureka, Illinois. People show a lot more skin down here than they do back there. All right. It's kind of fun. Especially when you're tan. All right. What's next? Some little problem solvers I did this week. Check out these cute little guys. All right. So I keep this tray. I'll go over my other refills in a minute. I keep this tray next to my kitchen sink. I did buy this from Target. It was filled with a candle. I don't use toxic candles, so I dug out the candle and threw it in the garbage and kept this cute little tray. It's from the uh, Magnolia people, um, Jojo, Joanna Gaines or whatever, right? So how cute is this? And it has the oils that go in my coffee and my water, all right? So, why did I need to dropper bottle them? The first one that got a dropper top, and I will post links for these. I did post them the other day on a post, but I'll repost them for you. My cinnamon bark will run down the side. Cinnamon is not a cheap oil, all right? And I don't want to waste any of it, but more importantly, I don't like it when it runs down the sides. I don't know it. I touch it, and I touch my eye or my face because it is a smoking hot oil on your skin. It's great to drink it, but my skin doesn't love it, and I hated the waste, so I had to problem solve. So I found these mini droppers, and now I have zero waste. I also, when I only want one or two drops, I can control it better. I only get one or two drops. So this process started with this cute little black on the others. Well, then I thought, how in the heck am I going to put tops on all these and know which ones are which? Already, So my morning routine is cinnamon. That's the black topper. Peppermint. And I found these colored toppers. I'll post the link. Right? And they fit directly on the doTERRA bottle. Well, blue is peppermint. 
What else goes in my coffee in the morning? Cinnamon, peppermint, and turmeric. So I needed to create my own turmeric bottle. I didn't put a label on it because I know it's turmeric. Because it's orange like turmeric. All right. Next, I do cinnamon, lemon, and grapefruit. So luckily the colors came. You can't tell. This is a, a dark yellow and this is a pink. All right, so to me, pink grapefruit and yellow is lemon. And then the other oils I use less often in here because I use those oils all day in coffee and water, all right? I need to get some stoppers for Frank, Wild Orange, and Copaiba. But it's not urgent because I don't use those to the volume that I use the others, right? So use any kind of cute tray. Sits on my counter right next to the water dispenser. All right, so I'm going to get you the links for these things. I tested them. These were one company. The black ones were another. And then I also ordered um, black droppers just for doTERRA 15 milliliter bottles. I got those two days ago, tested them out, and they do work. So I'll post those links as well. All right, so next I want to tell you what my monster immunity bomb recipe is that I am using this week in preparation for flying on Friday. I'm a little unsettled about immunity uh, because numbers are crazy on the rise, especially where I'm flying to in Illinois, so I'm not looking forward to that. So this has 10 drops. I need to look. Hold on, 10 drops Melissa. Hold on, I wanna make sure and get it right, it's in my story. 10 drops Melissa, Arborvita, and DDR, and then five drops clove, oregano, and thyme oil, plus the coconut oil in a 10 milliliter roller. So 10 drops Melissa, Arborvita, and DDR, five drops each, clove, oregano, and thyme. Topped off with coconut oil, shaken, not stirred, and roll the bottoms of my feet when I wake up and put socks on, and the bottoms of my feet um, before I get into bed, all right, for immunity. I need to stay healthy before traveling. All right, next refill. I need to leave in a few minutes. Next refill. This is a must. I keep posting about it, and I'm going to keep posting about it. Adaptive Litzy Citrus Bloom Zendocrine Geranium Blue Tansy. 10 drops each, topped with fractionated coconut oil, rolled all over the abdomen in the morning, and put your underwear back on and go. I used to shower after applying just Zendocrine because I hate the smell of Zendocrine. I don't love the smell of geranium. This little beauty smells fantastic. Gives me energy from adaptive, litzy, geranium. Helps me focus. Adaptive, blue tansy. Gets me going, makes me happy and positive so I can enjoy my day. I need to make this into like a dropper bottle because I'm going through a roller of this like every 10 days, all right? All right, next I made droppers. I refilled two droppers of Symphony of Cells, digestive and lymphatic, all right? I'm keeping those Symphony of Cells uh, dropper bottles going. I made two new ones, all right? I'm having neurological situations, so I need neurological support. So I went to the book, I made a neurological Symphony of Cell dropper. I took the 10 oils listed, 15 drops each oil, finished the rest of the dropper with coconut oil. Proper way, put the oils one at a time on the back and on the bottoms of the feet. That's not going to happen here by myself and with my ADD, I will not sit down and open 10 bottles of oil and apply them. It's not going to happen, so I do the next best thing, I zimmer it. I do what I will actually do which is I will make a dropper bottle. I will spend a few minutes one day putting them all in here and then this dropper will last me for weeks. And then I apply one dropper full to the bottoms of my feet or like the digestive one I did on my abdomen. 
the others I do on the bottoms of my feet, and I might do two or three different ones during the day because they're heavily diluted with the coconut oil and it's only a dropper full versus 50 drops of oil all over my back, all right? When you do the full symphony of cells the right way, one oil at a time on the back and on the bottoms of the feet, you only do it two or three times a week when you're problem solving and once a week when you're on maintenance, all right? These are heavily diluted going on the bottoms of the feet, so I can do them every day. I still need to drink lots of water, right? I have to zimmer it or it's just not going to happen, right? My way is better than no way. Boyd Truman's way, the way it was designed for Symphony of Cells, is the correct way, the best way, but I just need to get it done. All right, last little tip, then I got to go. Um, never throw these out. Recycle all of these beautiful bottles from doTERRA and refill them. Balance roller, we only got it the holidays last year, and refill it. Put 30 to 40 drops balance in there, top it off with coconut oil. Balance is already somewhat diluted, so that's why I'm increasing the number on that. Helichrysum, put 20 drops helichrysum in there, top it off with coconut oil. Don't waste that baby, all right? Diane says, where can I buy the SOC book? True Wellness, T-R-U-W-E-L-L-N-E-S-S.com. True Wellness, with no E in true, dot com. And I just get the little workbook, but they have a, a number of awesome books. All right, that's all I got for today, guys. I got to go. Hope you enjoyed the uh, demonstration for the... Um, Hair Growth Spray. Make sure you use that comb. Comb it through. I want you to use it twice a day, and I want to hear how things are going for you. And um, I've already got teeny tiny little hairs growing in, most of them gray. So we'll um, deal with that on <laughs> the next problem-solving round. All right. Have a good week, everybody. Congratulations to Kelly Bird, Vicki M., and Jill H. on your giveaways. I want to see your comments. Your comments will go towards next month's coach giveaway or whatever prize you choose. So make sure that you are commenting, sharing your recipes, and all that awesome stuff. Bye. Have a great day. Happy oiling.